Does anyone know what wavelength is? No, who no. Tell us, Mr. Audio. Every frequency, both audible and inaudible, has a distinct wavelength. The wavelength is the distance that it takes for that frequency to travel one complete cycle. The higher the frequency, the shorter the wavelength, since the wavelength of an audio signal is equal to the speed of sound divided by the frequency. High frequency audio sounds have a shorter wavelength that can be absorbed more easily in carpet, wall covering and ceiling tile. Lower frequencies need a deeper trap to attenuate these longer wavelengths. Also, because lower frequencies have longer wavelengths, rooms can often be too small to hear some low frequency sounds. Recording studio control rooms need to be at least 20 feet in one dimension to be able to develop 60 Hz. This is why it seems so loud when your car is pulled up next to a car that has a subwoofer. The low frequency doesn't really reach its maximum sound pressure level until it hits your car 20 to 30 feet away. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.